All right. There is a right reason and a wrong reason for gamers to be mad. The right reasons are for gamers to be mad about predatory business practices exercising on them by the gaming industry. About the, you know, entertainment software, the ESA, saying that loot boxes are not gambling. Protecting companies that use those practices that prey on people who have gambling addictions, who are addicted to microtransactions. There's nothing wrong inherently in microtransactions. A lot of legitimate free-to-play games make money off of them, and that's how they're able to fund new content for those games. And then you've got single-player games that have you know, full-priced $60, $80 games that have microtransactions in them. Now, that's a gray area. Uh, as long as it's not pay to win, I really don't see that much of a problem with it. But a lot of times, companies that do implement such things usually end up abusing it. They usually end up targeting that demographic I talked about. The people who are addicted to microtransactions, people who are addicted to gambling because a lot of games, a lot of live service games have loot boxes and they have pay to win in their microtransactions. And those are the reasons you should be mad. Not simple stuff. So yesterday I did a video about people being mad that Cyberpunk 2077 was going to be in first person. And people are completely losing it over that. And now I'm hearing in the news since E3 all sorts of things about people just being just completely losing it. Losing their shit over simple little things like a petition is out now and gaining signatures demanding a single-player game mode for Fallout 76, which we're getting one. Todd Howard has already said that the game will be getting one. Not at launch, but later on, you're going to be getting uh, private worlds, and you'll be able to have mods in those private worlds. How exactly that will work, whether the mods will be installed on your end, or whether you'll be able to select them and they'll be installed on the server end, don't know yet don't know how that's going to work but getting back to the discussion there's there's a right reason and a wrong reason to be angry a right reason and a wrong reason the wrong reason is to be mad at companies just because they didn't do something exactly the way you wanted it now i write stories i write a lot of fan fiction and i have faced this a lot you can't please everyone all the time people want their people want certain characters to be treated a certain way they wanted certain details of you know the world that you're writing about to be a certain way and they want this and that and they want these characters to be in this relationship and, and, and this and other and they don't they don't want this relationship or that relationship or they don't want this to happen or that to happen. And there's a lot of people out there who write stories and they try to please everybody and their stories come out to be a complete mess because of it. And they eventually burn out of writing. And then there are people like me who go, you know, I can't please everyone else, and I'm not going to try. So, you know what? I'm going to write stuff that I like, stuff that's for me, and if some other people like it, then okay. If other people don't, well, well, no one's forcing you to read it. Same thing goes for games. If you don't like something, no one's forcing you to play it. No one is forcing you to play it. Like if you don't like that the next 
Call of Duty is going to be a battle royale. No one's forcing you to play it. You don't have to play it. But there are people out there who, who will because they're fanboys. And, you know, they'll go out and play it just because, but they'll still complain. They'll still scream and cry. And I just don't understand why. I really don't. I just don't understand why. I, I, I am done with outrage culture. I am really seriously done with it. I'm tired of it. I want it to go away. I want it to burn in a 10,000 degree dumpster fire. Actually, a blast furnace would be a lot better. Or just throw it into the sun. Yeah, that'll work. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm just done with it. If you're going to be mad, if you're going to be pissed off about something, be mad about things that matter. You know, be mad about, you know, what EA's done. Be mad about what Activision has done. Look what Activision has done to Bungie. Bungie used to be a respected game company. They made Halo. People respected them. They, they weren't the first to bring an FPS game to consoles and make it playable. Actually, that was Rare was the first that really did that. They, they made an FPS game playable on a console on the N64 with GoldenEye 007. And, but Bungie brought the kind of FPS game that normally PC gamers get to enjoy. They brought that kind to a console and they made it playable on a console. And they started an entire, they created a huge franchise that has become massively popular because of it. And well, they, they moved on, they started Destiny with Activision and it's been downhill ever since. And it's mostly because of Activision's influences. And now look at the state of the game. Now it had pay to win. It had microtransactions, which cater to those people that have addictions. And look at EA and, and look at the Entertainment Software Association, the ESA, and how they're defending those business practices when they know they're wrong and they know that they cater to people who have problems or they abuse people with problems if you want to be mad be mad at game companies that abuse people be mad at them for that but don't be mad over simple stuff don't be mad because one, a certain feature in a game is not exactly the way you want it to be. Don't lose your shit over the fact that a game is going to be first person instead of third person. Lose your shit over the fact that there are loot boxes with pay to win in games. Because they have no place in games. Microtransactions are fine as long as they do not... As long as they do not abuse people, as long as they're not pay to win, and as long as they're not meant to, as I said, use psychology to get people with problems to spend money. Those are the things you should be mad about. Not simple stuff. Not simple shit. And all I'm seeing in the news lately, since E3, is people being mad about simple shit. So this, doing that diminishes the fight against predatory practices. Because it makes all gamers look like they're little snowflakes who want things exactly the way, the way they want them. And they'll cry and scream until they get it. So oh, you're actually, so if you're one of those people that, that's screaming and crying that Fallout 76 is not going to have a single player, if you're doing that, you are hurting 
efforts to stop loot boxes, to stop using psychology to get people with addictions to spend massive amounts of money in games. You're hurting those efforts by being entitled little snowflakes who want things exactly the way you want them. You're hurting those efforts. Stop it. The, it, you're doing no one any good. You're not doing the gaming industry any good. You're not doing the gaming community any good by doing that. You're hurting everybody by being a spoiled brat because you're not getting everything exactly the way you want it. I'm Mike the Zorch. Thanks for watching.